Hi, welcome back and I want to talk to you now about how this course works. So I've deliberately structured this course in such a way as to maximize the learning potential for each student. So after every lesson, I, after every video, you're going to get an exercise that is either what I've just played to practice or what I've played and I ask you to do something yourself with that picking, whether it be change chord or add an extra element or play it at a different speed or something like that. So how you use this course is obviously you start by getting your guitar out and getting it tuned, but then literally in section one, I'm gonna talk about um, some of the basics, such as a couple of chords we're gonna, we're gonna use, um, what the string names are, lots of stuff like that. So, so really simple. And for a lot of students, it might be stuff that you've already done. And the real stuff starts in section two. I do wanna say one thing, in section two, to keep us finger picking, oriented, we only use three chords. So it's actually possible for you just to learn three chords and do the whole of section two. So, you know, you'll get it a lot of the way through the course, even if you only have a couple of chords, which I'll teach you. In section three, we focus on the thumb because our ultimate outcome is to finger pick. And the best finger pickers sound like two guitar players are playing, but it's actually only one, it's you. But your thumb is doing an amazing job of playing the bass and your fingers are doing an amazing job of picking and creating melodies. So we're going to spend section three focusing on the thumb and a lot of techniques there and basically getting you thinking like a bass player. And then in section four, we're going to move on to the finger picking, where we're going to work on lots of different patterns of finger picking. And I give you a formula for how to create your own finger picking patterns. Then in the last section, we really put it all together and we have advanced techniques like uh, Travis picking, inside outside, um, the claw hammer. So lots of really great stuff in there. And peppered throughout the course, I'm going to give you songs that you can actually play. So things, songs by Ray LaMontagne, songs by Simon Agar Funkel, songs by Leonard Cohen, songs by Jeff Buckley, songs by R.E.M. So that we can take some of the things that we've learned and you can actually put it into a practical example and play along with the radio. Um, finally, the most important thing in this course is to take your time. So if you've got an hour every day and you want to do all of the lessons, all 30 of them back to back, you might get the whole course done in 30 days. And that's absolutely amazing, credit to you. But also, if you're doing a course every three days and it's taking you three or four days to, to learn or master the material, that's absolutely fantastic. We're gonna hopefully give you all the skills you need to play for the next years and years of playing. So don't feel like you're under any time pressure. The most important thing is that you're developing, you're practicing, you're enjoying playing, you find it rewarding, and we keep you going from lesson to lesson. So the main tip in how to use the course is watch the video, try the exercise, obviously play along with the video, feel free to pause it, then try the exercise, and if you get stuck at the start of the next uh, session, I'm gonna give you tips that help break into intermediate steps or give you easier options. So even if you can't play it, check out the start of the next video where I'm there to keep you uh, engaged, keep the train on the tracks and keep you learning. So that's how you use the course. I suggest watching each video, playing along with the video, pausing the video, trying the exercise, trying it until you've got it. And if you can't get it, watching the start of the next video.